Welcome my dear internet friends to the part 1 video of our real time chat application that we are going to build using Next.js. So this is the part 1 and if you haven't watched the introduction video then that video link is in the description. In this part we will set up our project folder. So without wasting any time let's get started. First go inside my github repository name Next.js chat app and download that. You can found this link inside the description of this video. So this is the boilerplate that I am providing to you on which we will write our next JS code. Click on the extract here. I want to open this inside my favorite code editor Visual Studio Code. Now let's get familiar with this by default thing. So here there are three files inside the pages folder. First one is app.js. It basically represents any code that you want to share across all the pages inside our application. Then inside chats.js we will write the code to display the messages between users. And last one is index.js. Here we maintain the authentication stuff of our user. Then here is the public folder that contains static files such as index.html, javascript library files, images and other assets. After that there is a styles folder inside that I am providing you the default CSS files for our chats and authentication page respectively. Inside the git ignore we will write the modules that we don't want to push inside our repository. Then here is the package.json and package.log.json in which our installed dependencies are displaying. Okay, so now the introduction is over. Then open the new terminal and first write npm install to install the dependencies that inside the package.json. Remember, we download this file from our GitHub. So first, let's download all of the dependencies. The process is over now and you can see node modules folder is created automatically. To open our project in the localhost, simply write npm run dev. This is the link localhost 3000 that is provided by Next.js. So control click on that and it will open inside your default browser. First you can see the green screen and the authentication text. Because this comes by index.js file, see we write auth here. This is it guys, we successfully set up the project folder and start the next.js application. In the next part, we will create the login page and add the authentication functionality. So if you don't want to miss out that part, then make sure you subscribe my channel and turn the bell notification on. Thank you for watching.